Jim Greeshaber, Frankie Signs, back here in South Bend, Indiana. After five fights, the California Krakens lead the Indiana Immortals 15 to 6 and have clinched the EAFL's Amateur MMA Team National Championship for 2017. But the individual 185 pound championship is still on the line here tonight. Let's meet the fighters for our last fight of the evening, powered by NeuroForce One, the evolution of human performance. Nick Vega, Dan Henderson's Athletic Fitness Center, Team Quest, Temecula, California. I love Dan Henderson's gym. I got guys like Tom Galicchio, Sam Alvey, Sokuju, uh, Dan Henderson himself, Keith Sims, everyone. Well, I'm gonna soak up all the knowledge like a sponge and wring it out in competition. Team Indiana, you guys are training hard. We train hard too. Let's put a good show on for your hometown crowd. Julian Moore, chin out of the Grange Gracie Jiu Jitsu and the Bulldog Fight Team. What I would tell Nick is uh, I hope he's ready. I hope he brings his A game. We grind. We have full time jobs. There's nothing here. We don't, you know, they got superstars, movie stars. All we do is fight, you know. We, there's, there's cornfields here. This is it for us, so we're going to make it count. Let's take a look at the Elite Amateur Fight League Tale of the Tape. Don't just be a fan, become an owner. Invest today on WeFunder.com. Jim Greeshaber, Frankie Sides, continuing along the Century Center in South Bend, Indiana. Our final fight of the night, 15 to six, California leads it. They tap it up in the middle. California's Nick Vega to your left in the blue trunks, fighting out of the red corner. Blue corner, white trunks. For Indiana's Julian Moore, Moore's a very good grappler. Vega's gonna wanna throw hands throughout this whole fight. Yeah, I like what Moore's doing. He's moving around. He's kind of taking advantage of this cage control here. Um, he's right-handed. He's fighting against a left-handed fighter, and he's got that angle on him. He's got that foot to the outside, so it's hard for Vega to come in and attack. You mentioned Vega likes to throw hands. He's a great striker. Sam Alvey very confident in his abilities there, although a right just landed from Moore, who studies at Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. He's on that Bulldog fight team with Todd Brown, and he's a guy who really likes to fight and feel comfortable on the ground and off his back whereas his coach would like to see him strike a little bit more but so far so good in this fight his hands look pretty quick yeah what i see with vegas he's throwing a lot of single kicks okay you got to be aware of that if more sit back and uh waits for him to come in on those single kicks he can catch him on the way in as they circle around one another right toward the center of the cage california leads it 15 to 6. they've clinched the national championship this is the 185 pound championship in our final fight of the night Nick Vega and Julian Moore. Vega coming straight at you. With a little under a minute 45 remaining in round number one. As they head back toward the center of the cage, kick thrown with the left leg by Vega. Oh, he's limping a little bit, and he gets caught with a shot, and he buckles and goes down. A couple more blows rain down from Julian Moore, and that's it. Our referee calls a stop to this fight. Julian Moore's going to get the win. Vega's leg buckled as he was being hit, and then he was hit a couple of more times by Moore, and he went down as we see it here on the replay. Yeah, unfortunate for Vega, but you know, Moore came to fight. He came, sat down on those punches, ended up landing a couple. Um, you know, I'm sorry this fight had to end this way, but uh, good night overall. We'll be right back to talk with Smiling Sam Alvey and his California Krakens, the 2017 EAFL National Champs, right after the break. Now is the time to invest in the Elite Amateur Fight League, the NCAA version of mixed martial arts. Imagine a world without a college football national champ or without March Madness. Now is your opportunity to become part of the ownership group that brings that Final Four excitement to the sport of MMA. Come be part of the only national amateur MMA league in the country. Be part of sports history. Own a piece of the Elite Amateur Fight League. The future fights here. Invest today on WeFunder.com. All right, Jim Greeshaber in the middle of the cage with the national champions, the first ever for the EAFL, the California Krakens. Nice job, guys, and head coach Sam Alvey. Um, you had a clinch before the last fight, but a very, very tough Indiana team who pushed your guys to the limits tonight. Uh, yeah, I was, I was so impressed by Indiana. And we knew we were in for a hard, hard match. I mean, it's the Midwest. They've got some of the best in the world. Um, but I'm glad our, our team has some great coaches in here, some great athletes, and uh, we really pulled through and, and came together as a team. How does it feel, Sam, we saw you in Arizona when you, a dominating performance over that Arizona team to make it here tonight and then all the way through until that last matchup, another dominating performance by your guys here this evening, finding ways to win throughout the night. 
Uh, you know what? We, we we dig deep. We do. We've got big hearts. We've got great talent and uh, a huge talent pool to pull from. So we won this year. We're going to win next year. We're going to win the year after that. We're going to be undefeated. We're going for a legacy right here. Uh, and, and it's you know we're the Kraken. We're the best best MMA uh, team in the planet. You know, it's ironic. Everybody was talking about that toughness from the Midwest, but in some of your fights tonight where your guys ended up victorious, just grinding out those wins and, and really kind of beating them at their own game. So, so we really are, are, are a well-rounded team. We take talent, we build talent, and, and that, that's what we do. We're California, baby, we're the Kraken. What does it say about California as a state on the MMA scene to everybody out there watching across the country? You guys are number one. Yeah, we're number one, baby. If you want a, if you want a good sparring session, come out and uh, train with us. If you want to watch some good fights, Come out and watch us fight. That's smiling Sam Alvey. He's always smiling, especially when they win, and that's all they've done this year. The national champion, California Kraken. Sam, what's next for you after this year? I mean, what a great performance by your team, but this concept, this format, state versus state, national champions, is this something that you look forward to continuing in the future? Yeah, like I said, we're going for dynasty. Uh, we're this year, next year, year after that, we are going to run the tables. They throw whatever teams they want at us, and we will beat them all, uh, and we'll make it look as easy as we can. All right, the California Krakens, 15 to 12 winners tonight over the Indiana Immortals on their home turf in their home cage. Sam Alvey's team gets it done. Nice job, guys. The 2017 national champions, the first ever in the Elite Amateur Fight League.